Well, after three games on the road to start the season, the Wild are finally back home in Minnesota. Yep, the Wild will take the home ice tonight in St. Paul. And Rachel Slavic joins us now live from inside the X with the excitement building before tonight's game. Hey, Rachel. Hi, Kylie and Jen. Yeah, quiet right now, but come 7 o'clock, this place is going to be packed with more than 18,000 fans. We have Wayne Peterson with the Minnesota Wild to talk about all the fun today. But first, we do have to address one big schedule change. Right. Unfortunately, due to the weather, uh, the pregame party, which was scheduled from 4 to 6.30, has been canceled, uh, which is unfortunate. It's a great, great way to kick off the season, but uh, I still encourage fans to come down early because we have a great pregame ceremony scheduled on the ice before the game. Right, and a little tease for fans. You'll have to be here to see it, but some hockey, Minnesota hockey legends will be here. Tell me about that. Right, we have six Minnesota hockey icons coming down to help flood the rink as part of our This Is Our Ice campaign. People like Neil Broughton, Willard Eichel, Dan Brooks, son of Herb Brooks, Terry Cohen, Matt's dad, Natalie Darwitz, and uh, I, think that's, I think that's it. But they're coming down to help for the rink, they brought ice or water from their hometown rinks or ponds, so that should be a big special part of the ceremony tonight. Right, and we'll have a little more on the uh, Flood the Ice yes. event and uh, that ongoing campaign a little bit later in the show. But we do want to talk about tickets because people are watching this thinking, can I still get tickets? So can they? Well, tonight's game is sold out, but we always release tickets day of game. And the uh, best way to get those tickets is go to wild.com slash game day ticks. You sign up, you'll get text alerts day of game when tickets are released. That's your best shot at getting tickets. Okay, and there is always a fan freebie, so show me what today is going to be. Right, tonight, all, all fans that come to the game tonight get this magnet schedule, which is a fan favorite, as you know. Yes, I actually love that yes. schedule. <laughs> so that's just part of the many things that are going on tonight. And also, doing Let's Play Hockey, we have head coach Cheryl Reeve and MVP Rebecca Brunson from the world champion. Uh, Minnesota Lynx leading us in the Let's Play Hockey Chance. Oh. So that should be really special, that too. That be very special. Okay, yeah. we do have to talk about the team because yes. we are deep in injuries. Yeah. What are we expecting today? Well, we had a big win in Chicago the other night, but it came at a big cost, losing Coyle, Nita Ryder, and uh, Foligno for extended periods of time. But when one door closes, another, another door opens, and this is a chance for, for some of our young guys to step up. I think a lot of eyes will be on Luke Cunnan from the University of Wisconsin, our first-round draft pick from 2016. He's been a winner mm -hmm. wherever he's been, so that should be fun. Yeah. And guys like Chris Stewart are off to a great start, and we'll need to keep relying on guys like him and Koivu and, and uh, you know, our, some of our veterans like Stahl. For the first time this season, the Minnesota Wild will play in front of their home crowd. Yes, more than 18,000 will pack the XL Energy Center tonight, and that's where Rachel Slavic is this morning with the Wild's new campaign this year. Hey, Rachel. Hi, Jen and Kylie. Yeah, of course, fans will be paying attention to the game once it starts and that puck drops. But ahead of time, fans can take part in this really unique campaign that started this year. This is our ice campaign. We have Travis Larson, the manager. Uh, you control all the ice here at Correct. the X uh, for the Wild. So tell us about this campaign. Uh, season, or not just season ticket holders, anybody coming to a game can bring uh, three ounces of water from their pond or their rink or wherever, or even their tap from the home. Uh, to donate or to have put into the ice here at the XL Energy Center during the game. So that's really neat. So I brought some water, three ounces from Lake Minnetonka. I'm sure that you guys have plenty of Lake Minnetonka water. But my story behind this is this is I never played ice hockey, but um, I played a lot of boot hockey. So that still counts, I'm oh, sure. Yeah, so you'll just dump it in here like that. But then you actually get to register and be part of the whole system. Tell me about that. Yeah, so we track, we're track. we tracking where all the water's coming from so that we can uh, eventually they'll have a map, you know, with a, that will show where all the water's coming from. So, uh, and then, so you register where your water is from and then uh, just some general information about yourself. And uh, then you get to donate your water. Uh, above the box office uh, on the Skyway level. As how, the how has the fan participation been in this? Well, this will be the first game that, uh, of the season, so every game uh, from here on out on the, uh, we did have a our ice campaign on the ticket on sale and all that stuff. Uh, they had probably about 2,400 people that came to the open practice and, uh, and probably about 500 that actually donated water. So we actually collected about 45 gallons of water. Right, I know 2,400 people donated from all across yep. the United States, 300 cities. So tell me a little bit about the process that it goes from here onto the ice so quickly. Uh, so from here uh, all the way up to the first period, uh, people can donate the water. And then uh, 
it's taken from here, brought downstairs. We'll filter it, uh, just depending on the amount, through a charcoal filter and, and uh, just make sure it's all good. And then we'll dump it into one of the ice uh, resurfacers and do mix it in with one of our 190 gallons of water that's already in there. So neat. And then just real quickly, so people bring their own bottles and you do have recycling. So because yeah, yeah, um, so you cannot we'll bring glass into the X. Correct. <laughs> All right. Well, if you do want to head out to the game, uh, make sure to go to our website, WCCO.com, because we'll post anything about last minute tickets. The Wild do uh, release some tickets right before the game because it is sold out right now. But come this afternoon, there may be a few tickets available. Uh, puck drops today at 7 o'clock. All right. I'm sure people will be cheering loudly in there tonight. Thanks, Rachel.